Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of comparing and ordering numbers. This is standard 3.2D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 26 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here showing a number of people traveling on a ferry each day. And we need to find one of these comparisons that is true. All right, so let's open up our graph draw feature. Let's expand it out a little bit so it kind of covers the whole problem. I'm going to make it a little bit more transparent. So this allows me to draw on the problem while still looking at the problem itself. It's as close as we can get to using a paper and pencil on a test when we're taking it online. So we just need to find one of these comparisons that is correct here. And so you notice we've got the greater than, equal to, less than signs. But instead of the numbers, they just have Saturday's number of people, Sunday's number of people. So let's just replace these, right? So Saturday's number of people. So instead of this, let's just put the actual number. 1,309. And then Sunday's the number of people. Let's put the number 1,000. 290. All right, so we're going to compare these two. Uh, let's use these little squares we've got here. Let's line them up. 1309, 1290. And we start at the largest place value first. This is my thousands place. Those are equal. So then we go to the next place value. Look at that. That three is larger than my two. And so, yeah, this greater than looks good. All right, so A might be our answer because the 3 is larger than the 2. Let's check all the other ones. So Friday's number of people, 1,298. Monday's number of people, 1,398. Yeah, equal. There's no really need to compare it because as long as they're not the exact same numbers, then they're not going to be equal, and it's the hundreds place. Digits are different to 2 and a 3. So B is incorrect. Let's check C. Monday's number of people, 1,398, is less than Sunday's number, 1,290. All right, let's come over here again. 1,398 and 1,290. So once again, the thousands digit is the same. So we have to look at the hundreds digit and look at this three. This three is larger than the two, but they say that it's less than, right? We need the opening to go this way. So that is not going to be correct. Uh, so we've gotten rid of B. We've gotten rid of C. Let's check out D. Sunday's number of people, 1,290. Uh, one of the only problems with this particular uh, tool on the start test, there is no erase button. If I use the reset, and I'll do that before I shut this off, everything gets erased. There's no eraser if you kind of miss something. So you have to kind of scribble it out if you, if you kind of make a mistake. Unless you want to start all over again. Friday's number of people, 1,298. All right. So we're going to compare 1,290. 1,298. Those are very close. Look at this. First digits, the same. Second digits, which is the hundreds digit, the same. The tens digit is even the same. So we've got to go all the way over to the ones digit, the very final digit, to see which one is larger. This 8 obviously is larger. So unfortunately, this is going to be incorrect. I need a less than symbol because red left to right 1,290 is less than 1,298. The opening obviously always goes to a larger number. So watch when I hit this reset button, everything goes away. You can't just delete one thing. All right, so and there's no undo button as well. So that's another thing. But our answer here is going to be A.